one good reason why the military is not meeting its uh, requirements. With a little girl raised by two moms. I'm a little girl raised by two moms. Is that real? Yep. This is their ad. Emma. Although I had a fairly typical childhood, <laughs> took ballet, <laughs> played violin, I also marched for equality. March for equality. I like to think I've been defending freedom from an early age. This is a military advertisement. When I was six years old, one of my moms had an accident that left her paralyzed. <clears throat> Doctors said she might never walk is that our again. <laughs> this she is tapped our into country. my family's pride this is to get United back States. on her feet. Eventually, standing at the altar Look to at, marry my other mom. It's an LGBT. It's With like an LGBT. With yeah. role models, I finished high school at the top of my class, and then attended UC Davis. <laughs> You're tripping right now. Look where at I joined your face. a sorority it's full of other longest, strong women. Oh, it's so long. But as graduation approached, I began feeling like I'd been it's handed like so much. It's like a life story of like LGBT equality to moms. Sure, I'd spent my life around <laughs> inspiring women. Bro, there's still. There's still two minutes left in this ad, bro. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to stop it now. Oh, fuck. Can you get to just go to the point where she joins the military? Okay, I'll do that, right? But what had I really forward. achieved on my there's own? This, there are two moms. Everett. That looks like a dad. Back I needed after meeting with an armor and baby shot. Here we go. Here we go. I found it. A way yeah, to prove there it is. Wait, whoa, whoa. She jumped off of my own challenge. Oh. Yeah, she's like. Working and after out. meeting with an army recruiter, my own venture. I'm gonna go challenges. And, and, and after meeting with an army recruiter, I found <laughs> it. You're like, <laughs> they lied to me and said, <laughs> "There's a whole bunch of gay people in the military. Come on in." And after meeting with an army you. recruiter, he took my life savings <laughs> and fled the country. <laughs> All right, and she goes, I found it. Boom. A way to prove Media. my inner strength. And maybe shatter. Hey, Trust why me, is she? St why is she starting as a staff sergeant, bro? <laughs> because they lie to you. That's the goal. They, they don't. They tell you not the truth. Trust me. You. You. You are. You know how long it takes you shooting. to get E five in the army, dude? Get out of here with that nonsense. <laughs> you got to go to like three schools. It's like basic AIT and SSI. It's a. It's not something you do easily. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. Pretty crappy ad. Oh man, it's like it's literally it's like four, four minutes of cringe, dude. The military really, <clears throat> they really struggle with. It is very difficult, especially in the Navy. Like the whole idea of same-sex relationships and stuff like that. Like the military has evolved around this idea of separating the sexes, so that there can't be any hanky panky on board the ship. Like it's very important that you have structure on a ship because otherwise, uh, the ships are operating far from home. Yeah, you know, away from everybody else, you have to have like this, you have to have a really good structure and you just can't have this, you know, people running around, you know, you know, having sex everywhere and doing crazy things, which is why the barracks are not, you know, you don't have, it's not like, uh, what was that, that movie that everybody loves? Where Stripes? Taking showers. No, no, no. The movie, uh, Starship Troopers. Starship oh, Troopers. yeah. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part too. I love Great. when the camera does pan by one guy who's not part of the I'm doing my part thing. And he's like, yo, what is going on? <laughs> he's like, are we fighting giant bugs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a great well, movie. The reality is, is if you're, if you're having sex with, with, with your fellows, you know, shit, it, it's a lot harder to do things that are life threatening. It just is. And so they try to keep that segregated. Now, when you have open, you know, when you have, you know, you're not supposed to, even though you're openly gay or whatever, in the military, you still aren't supposed to have relationships with people on the ship. But when you're living in the same birthing together, it's really hard to hard to not to stop that kind of thing. So it does make things complicated. And yeah, yeah. Uh, by the way, here is that ad I was telling you. It's like it's really short. Here's the uh, the ad from back in the day. It's, here's the difference. Oh. Look at this. This guy walks. Well, it's like a big giant sword. Oh. It's so bad, bro. You know, people join the Marine Corps because they have. Yeah, it's super cool. And then I'm just gonna fast forward to the end here. Look, he grabs the he grabs the sword. Giant dragon, bro? Are you kidding me? This is awesome. Oh my god, we've lost our way. 
Ah, the world changes, brother. What are you supposed to do about it? Hey, if you like this clip and you want to see more, then click right here and become a member today. Also, we do a live show every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, totally free. So come on down and hang out with us every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We'll see you there.